The technology that we're showing you um, exists today in the marketplace. We've connected it into a, uh, in a novel way to allow and show you what more natural language inside of the car would look like. Um, I realize the slide has gone away, but what's going to happen is um, inside the vehicle, we're going to take Nick's voice, we're going to set that to a phone, and that phone is going to use its internet connection to talk to the cloud. Um, the cloud is going to do some magic. It's going to send the voice back to um, someone else. It's going to send it back to Nick. Uh, it all depends on the use case. But really, with this technology, you'll start to see that um, there's this infinite processing power that occurs inside of, uh, inside of the cloud today. Uh, and you can start to use that for uh, a bunch of different use cases. So I'm going to throw it over to Wills and Nick, and then I'll take you for the rest. Julius mentioned my name is Nick Thorne. Um, I'm a developer, a mobile developer for Ford. Uh, and along with my colleague, Rules France, we're going to show you some technology that our team came up with to demonstrate how powerful freeform text dictation inside the vehicle can be when you can compose anything you'd like or say anything you'd like and have the vehicle understand it all with your hands on the wheel and the eyes on the road. So the scenario I'm going to give you is a situation where I'm in my car, I'm going from one location to another, and I'm running a little bit late for a meeting. And I want to give Wills a heads up that I'm going to be late, even though he's already in the meeting and I can't call him because I know he won't be able to answer his phone. The natural inclination here for someone is to pull out their phone, maybe send a quick email, a text, uh, or an IM to someone on the other end when they can't answer the phone. But obviously in the car, it's very distracting, it's very dangerous. And it's an activity that we would like to someday eliminate completely from a vehicle. So here's what we're doing is I'm going to compose a message to him over tact or over voice and send it to him all with my hands on the wheel and my eyes on the road. Sync communicator, please say a command. Google Chat, Wills France. Compose and chat session for Wills France. I'm running late to the meeting. You let everyone know I will be there in 10 minutes. I'll have donuts, I promise. Sync communicator, is this correct? I'm running late to the meeting. Could you let everyone know I will be there in 10 minutes? I'll have donuts, I promise. Yes. Sending message. In vehicle, um, all the buttons I pressed there would have been right on my steering wheel. So never put hands on the wheel the whole time. And my eyes never off the road. Will Sprint, excellent. I am very, very hungry. I'll let the team know. And with the exception of the fact that my status on Gmail would say um, communicating via sync, he would have no idea that I wasn't just able to text him that message. It's done that seamlessly. So we're going to show another quick demonstration here. Say so Will's out on the town for the night and he'd like to invite me along. It doesn't usually happen, but I can help him. Um, no problem. Uh, and he's going to send me a text message. He has no idea that I'm in my car driving. So he sends me a text. Normally I wouldn't be able to respond to it in the vehicle, but using tools like this, I can go ahead and do that. Will Sprats. Hey, Nick, I'm at the Tigers game. You should come. Compose a message for Will Sprats. Okay, I'll be there. Hopefully they perform better than they did last night. Sync communicator, is this correct? Okay, I'll be there. Hopefully they perform better than they did last night. Yes. Sending message. And again, he's able to get that text message. Seamlessly having no idea that I was communicating, communicating with him in the vehicle. That's the, the future power of voice in vehicle. So you get, this is, this is just uh, obviously one use case. Um, using the cloud, right, we can, we can take that same technology that uh, took Nick's voice and turned it into a message. We can use that same technology and turn that into something that the vehicle will start to interpret. Um, so you can start to have those more natural conversations with the vehicle. Um, ask for the things that uh, you, know, you actually want, you know, restaurant reservations, all that fun stuff that you hear about. Um, but uh, that's, kind of the, that's kind of the future vision of uh, how we see things. 
um, again, just a, a research project, but certainly uh, where we'd like to see things head, um, at least to uh, enable our customers.